Since our childhood, we are taught a great aspect of Bangladesh, and that is its six seasons, summer, rainy, autumn, late autumn, winter, and spring. But for the last few years in our country, summer seems to stay for the entire year. As a result, we all get sweaty and get dehydrated while walking, working, or traveling because of the extreme heat. And so we drink water to save ourselves from dehydration. Sometimes we drink carbonated drink. At times, we eat ice creams as well. But wait a minute. Where do these plastic containers go that we use? Well, some of these end up in the beans. But most of these end up in the river, lake, and ocean. This picture may not look, look harmful to you, but brace yourself because these are the regular scenarios. According to the daily news, in just four rivers that surround the capital city, Dhaka, 30,000 tons of plastics waste were discovered. Half of this was in the river Buriganga. So what do you think are the consequences of this? Well, instead of food, birds are now consuming plastic. There have been found plastic in the stomach of dead birds. Now, deep sea fishes are consuming plastics. Sometimes they are even stuck in plastic too and they go through immense pain for it. We humans are also in danger because of the microplastic. Our rivers are dying. The Buriganga River is biologically dead. To fight this huge problem, to save our rivers and the creatures from dying, we Team SAS present to you the Autonomous Aqua Scavenger Bot. This is a river surface cleaning bot. It's entirely autonomous and is capable of running on both land and water. It works on the solar energy. It can detect objects such as water waves and can also detect surface such as land or water using the Raspberry Pi, Pi camera and solar sensors. Whenever the robot ob detects an object such as water waves, it will go near it and the wests will slide onto the rotating belt. The belt will be rotated by the rollers. A high torque DC motor will be rotating the rollers using gears and chain. The west will be dropped into the container installed at the back of the bot. There are two types of wheels, front wheels and back wheels. The front wheels basically help the bot to drive both on the water and land while the back wheels help the bot to carry the weight on the land. There will be two hulls carrying the bot and helping it float on the water. There will also be a solar panel installed on the top of the bot to recharge the battery with solar energy. This is an animation video for you to see all the parts of our robot at a glance. Please enjoy. We wish for your like and support. Thank you.